Hello and welcome back to another video, I'm Zelp and today we're going to look at a very mysterious avionics for the railjack but before that I want to say that today is New Year's Eve by the time this video is posted it's about 10pm which means it's 2 hours before the New Year's I want to wish all of you guys a very happy New Year in advance um, I also want to point out that most of my videos nowadays are sharing sessions uh, it's not so much of a how-to video, I'm actually more like creating Sort of like a community where we learn from each other because I learned so so much from you guys on the comments and uh, a lot of you guys said that my videos was helpful for them as well to know certain things that they would otherwise not know. So in a way I'm not really making how-to videos anymore instead we are sort of like a community and we just talk things through and figure things out. I share my theory and you share yours. And in many ways, this is actually better. Instead of one person coming up with his ideas and sharing to the world, we have a bunch of people brainstorming and coming up with ideas and then we can pick which one we feel that is most likely. So I'm really liking how things is going so far and also since all these videos feels more like a conversation and also just me thinking out loud, I don't really need a script which makes it so much more possible for me to give you guys daily content. One of the things that I've shared my thoughts about and I've learned from you guys how it actually works is the engineering rank 4 and also rank 7 intrinsic. So over here it says increase forge yield by 25%. Initially, I thought that you get more forge resources. So like, let's say by picking up uh, 10 of something, it'll actually give you an extra 25%. So therefore you have more for your forging. But turns out what it really means is that if I were to forge, um, for example, if I were to forge one dome charge and uh, it will increase that one extra dome charge to 1.25 dome charge and this is pretty cool because when you have it at rank 7 it adds up to uh, 50% and it rounds up to 2 so that is the reason why every single time when I recharge my dome charge it actually gives me 2 instead of 1 like for example this thing over here is supposed to give you 50 but instead it gives you 75 and it all makes sense because an extra 50% out of 50 is 25 so a total of 50 plus 25 is 75. So let's get back to our main topic that mysterious avionics which is fire suppression. For some reason sometimes when I come over here my other avionics gets uh, unequipped and I have to re-equip them sometimes it's a bug and you just don't see them um, anyways back to fire suppression the description says extinguish four fires now this is a unranked fire suppression uh, so that means uh, I did not rank it up in any ways but the reason why it is um, having these is because the grid itself is ranked so I have all my grids to max rank um, they are all rank 3 so this one becomes sort of like a rank 4 so in rank 1 it extinguished 1 fire and then 2 at 2, 3 at 3 so now it's rank 4 so therefore it extinguished 4 fires now there is two ways that you can kind of interpret this um, although there is technically one that is more correct um, the first way is that it says that it extinguished 4 fires so there are 4 fires and you can remove all 4 fires at once and after that he has a cooldown of 300 seconds. The other way of interpreting this I guess is that you can say that oh you can only use this ability 4 times to remove 4 fires and each time is going to give you a cooldown of 300 seconds. But what really happens in a mission is a little bit more different. First of all I think there is a bug going on where in the mission for some reason even though I have all, all my grids maxed out it still shows that I can only extinguish one fire. So automatically I feel like, oh, maybe it's the second reasoning where I can only use it one on one fire for four times. And in my testing, it does only remove one fire at a time, but I can actually extinguish more than four times. So it seems like it's not the second reasoning either. Now just for fun, I remove all the fire and left with the electric and in fact I have two electric left electric spots that's damaged 
and by using fire suppression it actually removed the electric spots so now we learn something different we learned that oh fire suppression actually also suppress electrical damage and then for some weird reason with the exact same setup but this time I had a fire and also an electric spot when I used fire suppression it removed them both and I tried it again and it did the exact same thing so what is going on I would like to know so the takeaway here is that maybe you do not know but it can actually remove electric spots um, however the discussion here is that why does it behave so weirdly as to only able to extinguish one at a time in missions even though here it says that you can extinguish up to four but when there is two electrics or one fire and one electric it seems to be able to remove both of them so i'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment today i don't really have much time to be recording so this is kind of a rush don't forget to check out yesterday's video if you guys want to enter the giveaway I would also like to know how many of you guys actually regretted watching the 15 videos that I asked you guys to watch that comes down to less than 3 minutes. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the video. Have a great new year. Do not stay up too late for a countdown and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.